Hello! And welcome back for more of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess! <laughs> Let's <-a> go! <clears throat> Still need to work on my laughter for my Mario impression. And this is Autism Awareness <laughs> Month for the entire month of April. Wearing the colors red, yellow, and blue. Support those who have autism like I do. Because people like us really need your help because we do need because we do live in the troubled times and the entire month of April is very important to us. So once again, this is Autism Awareness Month. And we need you just like we just like we need them. This is episode 27, Boss Battle and and you'll see something else, whether it's idiot man movie. Ow. Ow. No, I got to wait. Fire! Lovely. To get rid of them, I'll have to use the do use this. I'll have to use this. I hate you. Ugh. Really not being smart here. To be smart, I need to be smart. Got you. Got you. Be smart. Be smart. Don't be stupid. Requires the bow and arrow and the dominion rod. <coughs> because in because this boss is a giant spider. I'm not kidding. There's a giant spider in this giant room. It's moving. There it is. With a giant eyeball on its back. Armagoma, really a twilight spider monster? Ready for ya. Got you! Time to bring this statue to life! What? Never knew how powerful that mirror the mirror of twilight is that can create its own monsters. I think once 
we find all the four pieces, it should be destroyed. That's not great for you, isn't it? Not even for me! Looks like I'm getting clear eyes! Just like Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and some others. I'm about to send you home. Game point! Uh, no, it is not done. Because though that is an eyeball with the spider. We're gonna have to chase it. Guess I'm gonna get some arrows back. Wow, did you like to run away? Now run for me! <laughs> Not... <laughs> Whoops! in the city in the sky which would be in the heavens Kevin. yes Mitna Kevin. yeah I did saw how nasty that monster is so the evil within the shards is more powerful than you uh, and than all of us can imagine But we have to go to the land of twilight first. Then we have to destroy the mirror of twilight portal. That's all that's left. And a heart contain and I got myself a free heart container. <laughs> we are leaving this temple. <laughs> Nothing here for me to be. Take me out.
at least I did enjoy that boss battle besides those ridiculous traps. Alright! Back to the entrance of the sacred grove inside the temple if you want to know. Song of Time never fails from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and, and also this game. Yes! You love it! Uh oh. I got this. Uh oh! Sends you away. Just take this. And a treasure chest, huh? And guess what? Another heart container! Hours for the making! I hear it! Come on! like not okay where are you where where come on ah I wonder it was right in front of me That's it! I got all the bugs given to Princess Sagatha. Okay. Well, the moment we leave out here and out of this uh, sacred grove temple is the moment the Dominion Rod lost its power completely. And it lost its power. Um, so this is the Dominion Rod, what you were looking for. Its magic has been exhausted? Forgotten the spell that would once again bestow it with magic? Wait a minute, how did you- Yeah... Returning to the sky... It might come in handy, but in its original state... It's useless. A Dominion Rod is just completely, like, that's broken, that has no use of it. It's not worth it. Okay. Time to warp! And I think I know where should we go to. Back to Castle Town. Hopefully I might get some news. Hope you 
guys still enjoy the music from Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Hey, it's the postman again. Hey there. A letter from Renato? Well, this ought to be good. First, I'm heading to Castletown. That might put me at ease. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to deliver all these... All of these precious golden bugs to Agatha. She really <laughs> loves them. And I think she'll be surprised. But first, heading to Telma's Bar. This might give me a clue to where and by the way, it's Shad this time. Hope I can... Anything? Kakariko Village? Shad is happen looking over there? Um, understood. You find the power of the ancient civilization. If you discover anything, could you be sure to also tell Shad? He has been researching the Uka, who are said to be the ancestors of the Hylians. As we speak, he is in Kakariko Village investigating these sky beings. Perhaps you should go see him. He is an avid scholar, so I am sure his knowledge could be you be very helpful. Yes, my golden friend came in handy, did he not? Leonardo, we must restore the peace and take the children home with us. Yes, sir. Check the map again. Kakariko Village. On it. I know where should we go? It's pretty simple to be honest. Activate portals, head back to Kakariko Village. I think there was another wolf that a uh, uh, golden wolf that I missed. I should have known. But that was mistaken for I don't want to transform back into my other self or else these folks are going to freak out and say, Oh! A wolf! So yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, okay. So think, okay, you are you. And then all of a sudden you see a spider, and then <laughs> just listen. It's a, a fun. It's kind of a funny story. Uh, so let's see. No, that's a uh, no. Ah, there is the wolf. So you're. Trying to go there, and all of a sudden you see that spider, and you say, "Ah, oh, spider!" And the spider went like, "Ah, oh, a human!" And you're going like, "Ah, oh, spider!" And like, uh, "Grandpa, don't ask." <laughs> we meet again. There are but a few hidden skills left for me to teach you. I have warned you of this before, but if you fail to execute the hidden skill I am about to teach you, your life may be forfeit. Do you still wish to master this skill? Yes. 
very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure that you have mastered the last secret I taught you. The mortal draw. Now then, come at me. He-Man! Like that. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well, my sixth hidden skill is... The Jump Strike. Let it be hewn into your mind. Jump Strike, huh? One of the basic sword techniques is the Jump Attack. It inflicts great damage, but none would call it effective against multiple foes. To perform the Jump Strike, prepare a Jump Attack. The focus power in your blade. The surge the blade releases can strike all enemies around you. This is a jump strike. Lord Kong will see you then. Press and hold A until just the right time to release your strength. <laughs> Alright, you lock him on. See there's multiple foes. There we go! Mm, impressive! Do not forget the timing for releasing the power you just felt. The sixth hidden skill, the jump strike has been passed on! <laughs> so, we have learned the sixth hidden skill! But one hidden skill left for me to pass on to you. You are already endowed with the strength required of the hero. Do not already feel the courage granted. Do you not already feel the courage granted by this strength as it guides you step by step towards your true enemy? Believe in your strength. Continue to push forward unflinchingly and without straying from your path. May we meet again. I'll get you, He-Man! <laughs> One skill left. Once we find it, we're all set. I can't believe I forgot the six hidden skill, but we got it! By the way, let's check that letter. There is something about Ilya's memory that I wish to tell you. I know you're busy, but please come visit me in the sanctuary in Kakariko Village. On it! I hope this is good news! because I have a little something to discuss with the shaman. Hey there! Who are you, little human? The young lady's acquaintance? Uh, yes. Uh. Yeah? I heard what he said. Oh. I have been waiting for you, Leonardo. Fortune has smiled upon us. Go well, we should be able to help Ilya recover her memory. Do you know Telma's friend Shad? Well, it seems he is researching the heavens, and he has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. And as I have learned, when Ilya was saved, she overheard someone talking about the rod of the heavens, or something like that. The Goron Elder believes that the, to help her regain her lost memories, we must piece together the fragments of her past. Which means, if we work our way backward from the very place where she lost her memory, we may find something that will restore it. Now we must retrace Ilya's path 
I am certain it was Telma who cared for her before she arrived in this village, was it not? It would be best to speak with her first. Please take Mr. Telma. Renato's letter carefully details how to treat Ilya to get her memory back. Understood. Shames me to say it, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. <clears throat> Have a fighting chance, Theodore. Thanks! Even though Chief Thomas has lost the memory of his dark time, we have now told him that you were the one who saved him. He is a brown corn and he can be touchy if he knew he had been saved by a human. On the other hand, he does have a strong sense of moral duty, so if anything happens, you can come on him to help. Little human, it is time for you to show your manliness for the other young lady's sake. If there is anything I can do to help, just say so. It is in times like these that we must come to one another's aid. <laughs> Not that you can ever do much to help me, my tiny friend. <laughs> I hope that's not a laughter for being so, uh, obnoxious. Hey there, Shad. Oh my. Calling me surprise if it isn't Leonardo. Oh. What a coincidence. Meeting you in a place like this. How very odd. Say, old boy, do you remember what I told you before about the legend of the sky beings known as the Uka? Yes, well, there's something about that it's been bothering me, so I came here to snoop about. To think that you would appear here with such perfect timing. You really are a rather extraordinary fellow, aren't you? I found it at long last. Observe this statue. It's the same as the one in the manuscripts my dear father left me. There are many similar statues around Hyrule. But this one seems to be different. Here, look at the belly. There's something written there, you see? This, too, was in my father's notes. It is called sky writing, I believe. Awaken us with the word that breaks the seal. Yes, indeed, that's what it says. Wait a moment. Isn't that Ilya a friend of yours? It's simply tragic how she lost her memory and that Lord of the Heavens she mentioned. I'm sure it has something to do with the word that breaks the seal. Hmm. Isn't there any way to restore her memory? I'm certain it would help us figure this all out. Statues. The word that breaks the seal and the rod of the heavens, it just gets order and order. Now, Ilya's memory is the last clue we have to solving this strange puzzle about the heavens. Leonardo, what shall we do? Hmm. First, if we're gonna have to solve, Ilya, solve this puzzle, we'll need to treat Ilya's memory first. And I think I know just what to do. Up we go! If we're gonna go to back to Castle Town, we have to teleport ourselves without being seen first. It's the only way we're gonna do this by the book. We don't want to be seen. We want to be out of sight. Teleport there. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. It is for the best that you may want to know and find out for yourself. Go! I don't want to go in as a wolf. And right now. That's better. <laughs> now if we head to Telma's bar and ask, te ask Telma, we are going to get a different response if we show 
the instructions of the letter first. That way, she is going to, uh, Thelma is going to give a doctor's memento about how to treat people's lost memories. That way, we'll be able to go and see the doctor who calls himself the Golden Nits. But I think he has a different story. If we don't treat Ilya's memory soon, we will never find out how to get to the city in the sky. First, let's show this letter. Okay, that has no effect. But I will show this right to her. That's right. Well, that was his idea, not mine. What? So, you'll lend us a hand. That's great. Magic little paper, really? It's an invoice! Okay, this invoice is for the town doctor's running tab, which is an astronomical sum. Oh, I'll get, I'll show it to him, I promise you that. And plus, he'll have the, the statue that has been spilled by medicine, of course, so... That's gonna be something. Mm. I think I have to go this way, as I remember. Yeah, it's this way. If not, I could be wrong. Yep, it's the right one. We should go right here. Huh? Hey, Doc. Uh, what's that? Just as I wondered who it might be, I see it's the interval young lad who was willing to help the Zorak. The Zorak Prince for nearly a single rupee. Just what is it that you want, lad? A physical? You have some money, don't you? Well, I... <clears throat> By the way, uh, that young lady Ilya didn't mention anything about me, did she? Uh, no. <laughs> the Golden Mitts. Uh, are you really certain about her? Here's an invoice. <laughs> Why not? Don't tell me you lost it. Wow! <laughs> and you call yourself a doctor how to take care of things now, can you? Let's see. I hate to say this, but we'll have to become a wolf if we're gonna find that statue. Forget the Greek fish scent and learn a new smell. Right, even if I did listen and I transformed into a wolf, 
You say I you have no idea. You have no idea, do you? I know I am going to regret this in front of the public, but this is not what I want. <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> I love scaring the townsfolk people! Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow! Oh, come on! I dare you! Ooh! You want to spear me? Go ahead! Go ahead! I love to see you guys spear me! What <laughs> 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 am I, you cowards? And you call yourselves soldiers of Hyrule now, can you? <laughs> it's great to be a wolf! <laughs> wow! Like all, all the townsfolk people are frightened except the Gorons. Wow! I kind of forgot to, um... <laughs> you, Telma's cat! You were attacked by some sort of skeletal dog beast who took it from you? move around as a pack and you won't and I won't get that statue and back unless I give them all a thrashing next time don't steal that doesn't belong to you wow it's shameful Take what's belong. I wonder if that I there doesn't recognize me. Now I'm back to normal. If we're gonna come and find them, we have to be like right here outside in front of the castle. It's the only way we're gonna face them. to fend off like that now, don't I? It's gonna take some time for me until I... It's getting dark. Once, it, once the sun sets down low enough, I am ready until those skeletal dogs are coming out and say, GOTCHA! Oh. 
I think I may know how to get that chest, but you'll need a double claw shot in order to do that. And there's like no way for me to do that. I think it's dark outside, so it should be fine. Now that we got the statue back, it's time we head back to Kakariko Village, and hopefully this may work. Time to warp! Right there! Don't worry, I should be able to recover with some hearts, that's... All along the way, which is not a problem. It's not a problem. <laughs> That's better. Now, we head inside. I want to use that. There. We'll use that little wooden statue and hope for the best to see what we can do. Oh, you're not I'm sorry. Perhaps this might give you a little remembrance. You were confined somewhere, and you were saved by whoever was confined with you? They gave you that statue? Really? Ooh, I remember. I thought I had seen that before somewhere that belonged to the tribe that protected the Hylian royal family long ago. They worked in secret, so they lived in a lonely, forgotten place, but I heard that tribe dwindled in the prolonged wars. If you want to find that hidden village, look for a path leading to the Lanairu province on the far side of the Bridge of Elgin. But a rock slide blocked the way to the village long ago, so you can't get there anymore. <laughs> what? Oh, I do not mean to worry you, little human. Problems like these are not problems to go wrong. <laughs> I think Darbus knows what he's going to do. Our patriarch Darbus will be waiting for you up ahead. Look at your map to see where. I will try to find the path beyond the Bridge of Elven that leads to Lanaru province. Got it. Ooh, and I know where that place. It's kind of like uh, walking into the Old West of Clint Eastwood movies. So, yes, a fistful of dollars for a few dollars more and the good, the bad, and the ugly. You are going to like that little village. And yes, so the boss battle, uh, so the boss battle and the lost village. And we are going to go there right now. Trust me, I think you're going to be surprised as much as I am. Just head this way. So, he did mention the Bridge of Elden. I'm 
I'm gonna have to take my horse with me, because without my horse, I cannot get it. Back up! <laughs> Loser! I don't have time for the likes of this! Come on, you bird brains! Oh no, you don't! Ah! I'm almost there! You're gonna have to do better than this if you wanna keep up with me! I'll show you who shoots an arrow! <laughs> Time to ride the rails! Yes, there is a secret path on riding this. Plus, go to a wolf and dig in this circle of grass. Because there is a digging hole. With Scalfos. Great. More bombs to put on a Stalfos and see if you can get yourself out of there, huh? And that's what I thought, loser. If it's an orange rupee, I cannot get it out of that chest because I'm gonna have to wear the armor. But instead, it's a heart piece, so. Woo! Okay. Going back up again. And I'm gonna have to grind the rails. Alright! Time to use my Beyblade! Yeah! What the hell? What the hell? Guys are a bunch of losers. Oh, <laughs> no, really. <laughs> oh, we're gonna need the Hawkeye. Trust me, trust me, you're gonna trust me. You'll understand why because I know what I'm doing. We're about to meet Darvis. There he is. <laughs> He's a hidden village up ahead, little human. The elders call it a forgotten place. He said there has been burning by nostrils. It is the scent of evil. There is one powerful creature I have seen about. But under that beast are many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. There are thirty... No, at most, twenty of them ahead. There are probably just a small band of survivors, ragged remnants who have settled leaderless into this village. If that is all there are, little human, then you alone are more than enough for them. But you will have to defeat them all to save that young lady's benefactor. Before you go, I will tell you the secret to bestowing them. Destroy them all before they spot you. <laughs> Got it, little human? Arnold out! <laughs> Thanks, Darvis! Uh, 
I'm the man with no name. Call me Dirty Harry. But then, I would say bravo. I'm Clint Eastwood. For a fistful of dollars and for a few dollars more. Do I feel lucky? Or do you? Punk! I'm a bounty hunter. And I eat scumbags like moblins like you. This is the old west. For Clint Eastwood. Alright! There's 20 of them! Let's begin! I love this music. It sounds so western. Even Clint Eastwood would love this. Fire. If you're trying to exit out, you're gonna have to start all over. Don't exit out the village or else that number is going to go back to the floor. And I mean it. I see you there. You can't escape me. I am a man with no name. And I may not sound like Clint Eastwood. left. Oh, not that way. Okay, got you right in front of me. Sidestep if you want to know. This is a really great strategy to see them from where they are. Some are inside the, in the buildings if you want to know, so be ready. Just enough right there and KO! I 
I saw him. I noticed someone's pulling those bow and arrows, so I'm ready. Got you right there. You didn't think I saw you right in front of me, did you? Five left. Like I said, I did my own method voice. Ooh! How unfortunate! <laughs> 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 One left! in this village is now safe. Her name is Impaz. Are you the one who took care of Ilium? Last resident of this poor village, huh? Really? The one by the name Imp5, to be honest? So this village was once the secret home of a proud tribe who served the royal family. I see. Yes, but how did you... Oh, Yes, I did. Really? So by royal order, you cannot leave this place until a certain person arrives. I see. What is that? 
always kept it close to her heart, and even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect you? Ilya's charm! So... Ilya left this charm with the, with the woman who saved her, and it's a clue to restoring Ilya's memory. I promise. And I believe this is going to be a great stopping point from here on out. And don't you worry, we are going to continue to pick up from where we left off. And thank you guys for watching and celebrate Autism Awareness Month for the entire month of April. Wearing the colors red, yellow, and blue. So it's all Superman colors. This is Leo Wolverine saying, and speaking as always, as your friendly neighborhood spider cop and your bastard chief, who takes chances making mistakes and getting messy, like peanut butter and chocolate or breakfast for dinner, because when the going gets tough, the job gets it done for a breath of fresh air in Leo's Let's Plays Alliance. Godspeed, play safe, and shalom. Remember to fight with honor, love, truth, and justice, and see you guys next time for more of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, and this is Autism Awareness Month for the entire month of April. See you next time! Be great out there! Woohoo!